In less than 100 years, cities went from this to this. How did skyscrapers become so prevalent? What was the secret that changed the way we build cities forever? It's all thanks to one man. Meet the father of the modern skyscraper, Fazlur Rahman Khan. Khan was born and raised in what is now called Dhaka, Bangladesh. After earning a scholarship to study at the University of Illinois in Chicago, USA, he began knocking out degrees like crazy. A master's degree in applied mechanics, a master's degree in structural engineering, even a PhD in structural engineering. His work experience included working in Bangladesh, Pakistan, and the US. It was in the US that he got his architectural breakthrough. See, at the time, the normal practice for building skyscrapers was through multiple central supports made of steel. This was how the Empire State Building was built. At 381 meters tall, it was the tallest building in the world. Until Khan came in, he figured out how to form an exterior frame that would protect the building from high winds while creating more space in the inside. His mindset was driven by what he called structural empathy. Buildings should absorb stress the same way the human body does. Your muscles clench, your legs brace themselves, every piece works in tandem to keep you upright. So should the structural integrity of the building. And he set out to prove it. In 1972, he finally built something taller than the Empire State, the World Trade Center. Two years later, he broke his own record with the Chicago Sears Tower, now the Willis Tower. Today, Khan is known as the Einstein of structural engineering. Through his innovative engineering, he revolutionized the way we think about skyscrapers and turned city skylines into what we know today. Without him, buildings like the Burj Khalifa or the Shanghai Tower would never exist. What do you think? What's your favorite skyscraper in the world? 